on your turn off to the left and that takes you down to Pin Yelling where the dog went missing that time. So I'm back here and back at the camp having some water. A bit dehydrated. You get a bit like that when it's 40 degrees out here and you're walking around. Um, I've done about uh, 12,800 steps today. Um, that's about 5.6 kilometres. And it's really um, a short amount of distance. Maybe it could be a long distance for some, but you don't realise it because there's so much to do, so much to look at. And plus you walk on the top of these hills and the, the view is magnificent. And I'll show you a couple of those photos after. But um, out here, you're like a long distance from like towns. So getting supplies is fairly um, difficult. And what you want to do is you want to bring enough water to hydrate yourself. And it's probably about two litres per hour per person for every hour you're in the sun or you're active. Um, and that's probably works out over like a, a 36 degree day. Well, it's 38 degrees out here right now. So two litres is um, a very small amount of water at that temperature. Um, back in Perth, two litres is fucked. I mean, try drinking two litres every hour and it's just like bleh. But out here, uh, two litres of water is like a godsend, mate. And doesn't it doesn't need to be chilled because, well, it's it sits in a ch in in, a, in the shade, right? So it's fairly much cool. And drinking cool water, like iced water, on a hot day is really bad for you, right? And it's quite simple because um, if you look into the science, I won't get much into it right now, but if you look at the science, when water cools down, the water molecules expand and therefore it's harder for the water molecules to get into your cells and hydrate yourself. Whereas warm water is like smaller molecules, right? And it allows the water to... Um, soak into your um, blood cells and it's not only that but you got to take something like electrolytes as well not salt because salt that you put on your chips is the different salt you need like electrolytic salt and that's found like in um, Gatorade that's found in um, Staminade and Powerade you know it's something that puts the hydration back in your cells um, but yeah, uh, a classic example, you can see it in your refrigerator. Go and fill a cup up with water right to the top and then stick it in the freezer. And next minute, you come into the freezer and the uh, fuck is like iced over the top. And so that's what the water does in your um, body. It's really cold. And because it's really cold, the water molecules is really big. It is expanded. And therefore, your cells can't, you know, um, soak it in. So your body's got to regulate that water temperature to a, a size that can uh, soak into your cells. And out here on a hot day, that's all you want is water. But you don't want super cold water. You want warm water. Like, not hot water, but not iced water either. And um, sugar, yeah, sugar, you can get away with a uh, tea, but a little bit of sugar on a hot day, it's like, um, it doesn't, it, what happens is your body evaporates the water and it concentrates the sugar, which means it's more difficult for the sugar to get into your body for energy and salt 
is a little bit of salt is good too much is bad especially out here when when you can feel the salt in your sweat dripping into your eyes and into your mouth it tastes like butter so you really want to control that hydration and well what what else um is there to really talk about except for oh yeah fill your holes in it's not nothing that people um look more for than an area that's been overworked by prospectors and they've left big holes in the ground it's like we drive in the countryside oh look there's a hole so people have worked this area so there must be gold found in this area and it's a really bad thing to do because if you find gold in an area you want to keep it as fucking secret That's as why you bury your hole back in when you finished with it you take your trash with you because there's nothing more that fucking people hate than finding cans everywhere rubbish bags and fucking bits of shit everywhere it just it fucks everything up for everyone um it's really nice out here anyway so sunset is really good um i'm just bullshitting now so uh um, we'll keep in tune with a little bit more. Hopefully we find some gold and we're going to move on to another spot uh, tomorrow. So we're going to pack up camp tomorrow morning and um, find a spot on the other side of the station. And um, hopefully there's some water there in the creeks so we can um, go for a swim there, show you what um, water in the Pilbara is like dirty and shitty <laughs> um, could be clear could be warm here we um, are the Kazmat pool in the Pilbara as you can see it's beautiful Kaz Pool, it's in the Pilbara, natural water source. Walking up uneven ground, which will fall out from underneath your feet, and you can slide. But once you get up to the top, the view is absolutely fucking awesome haven't seen much wildlife here um, a couple of cows no snakes haven't seen fuck all but as you can see all the different rocks And all the different colours. Very brittle. Look. It's probably taken something like 600 years for this shit to build and break away. And in there, it's like an echidna hole, but there's no Mr. Echidna. So we're slowly climbing up to the top. When you get up to the top, you can see the view from the top. Look, look at the view. This is the Pilbara fellas. This is the Pilbara. And the sun is setting. And this is the view from the top of the hill. Just behind the camp that we were staying in.
this is what getting out in the pilgrim is all about exploring and having fun just look at the view behind me of all the Ashburton Ranges it's magnificent huh yeah it's hard to forget what sort of country we're living in you just got to get away from the city a little bit more see all your Perth people you're missing out on all this countryside here look how beautiful it is no, you don't get views like this from your couch but you do get views like this if you're 1800 kilometers away from Perth you know it doesn't get much better than this sitting on top of a hill drinking a beer watching the sunset on the Ashburton Ranges you know you only get one week off a year maybe two if you're lucky you may as well come up here flights all the time to Tom Price hire a car and drive out I mean what more can you ask for you know simply marvellous Simple, easy living. <laughs> 